Okay, let's look at this problem where we're asked to compute product unit costs. Style Corporation manufactures specialty lines of women's apparel. During February, the company worked on three special orders, A25, A27, and B14. Cost and production data for each order appear below, and we're asked to compute the total cost associated with each job and then compute the product unit cost for each job. Okay, now I've arranged the problem so that solving this will be a relatively straightforward process. Alright, so to solve number one, compute the total cost associated with each job, let's first uh, compute the subtotals that we may need. So um, why don't we put in the word total for total direct labor, and why don't we sum from above? Okay, so we've got, to, once I have that, I can just copy, right? And now I've got the total direct material costs. Now, uh, I've worked a little bit of this ahead to give us some room. Let me click on this grouping command. And then we can also do the totals for direct labor. Now, if I put the formulas in here, I should just be able to copy. And sure enough, yeah, we're getting the right formulas in all of these cells. So now we have the total direct material and the total direct labor. Uh, but the next thing we need to con consider is the overhead. And um, I believe they tell us that overhead is 120% of direct labor. Okay. Now, um, I see that that information wasn't listed above here, but it should have been. It's down here. Uh, let me just add that in as well. Overhead is uh, applied to, to jobs at 120% of direct labor. Okay, so with that information there, um, what we can do, let's see, I think we can just... Um, then say equal 120% times the direct labor amount, and that'll be our overhead portion. If I copy that over, we've got the overhead, okay? So every cell, it's 120% times the total direct labor. You can see that on the screen. All right, once we have that then, um, then we can compute the total cost. And uh, let me uh, let me merge these cells so that that will look correctly. And then the total cost we would underline here and make this equal to the total direct material plus the total direct labor plus the overhead. And so 69,960 um, would would be the total there. The total there and the total there. Now, I, that should, probably should be a double un underline. Let's see if we can format it that way. Slide this over. And it might screw up our for formatting, but I'll give it a, a shot. Um, double underline. And uh, that looks right. Hit OK. Yeah, I thought, I thought what would happen was it will look a, uh, a little bit off. Let me see if I can center it. Will that make it any better? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to take that off, and we'll just assume that uh, that should be a double underline. Okay, in the interest of time, I'm not going to uh, uh, spend time formatting that anymore. Okay, then the next item we need to consider, now I'm going to slide a little bit, and I've locked in the, the, um, the problem up top so we won't lose that, and I'm going to tackle part two, which says um, compute the, uh, the product unit cost for each job computed. Uh, actually, if I slide, I already have that all set up. And so the total cost, then, we pull from right above. Just copy that over. We already have the units produced. Now in this case, I want to move that over to the right. And so to, to come up with the product unit cost, we simply take the total cost divided by the units produced. And this time our double underline works. So um, actually if I format, if I just copy this and use my format painter, 
I should be able to get these ones to work. Oh, of course it doesn't want to uh, because of the sense involved. Let's get rid of the sense. It might not ever work. Yeah. We'll leave it back to how it was. Okay. Okay, so now we see the the product unit cost, so that's computed, and we had the total cost here. In fact, what I will do is bold this so we know that that was the answer to part one, and I'll bold this because that's the answer to part two, and that takes care of this problem, everyone. So there's the bottom part, and I'll slide back up, and uh, you can see the entire problem. Thanks, everyone.